Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video I am very excited for because I'm finally filming with the two new Odin's Eye palettes. So I'm going to film with the Stone and Rock palette today, but I did get both of these. These came last week, but I did not have time to film with them. Um, work was crazy and there was a lot of stuff going on in my life, so I did not have time to film after work most days last week. Uh, so finally sitting down to play with these. I have already tried them a couple times. And I do feel like I'm the last person on YouTube to post a video about these, but whatever. <laughs> um, so I think I'm gonna do two videos, one for each palette, just so I can do at least two looks with each one and not have it be a horrendously long video. <laughs> and if you're new here, welcome. My name is Colin. I am a non-binary Latinx scientist and lover of makeup with a soft spot for indie makeup and high-end makeup. And I tend to take a pretty analytical approach to my makeup uh, collection as a whole and my makeup reviews and I have new videos every week so I'd love to have you subscribe. Okay so it is rainy. It is June 20th. These came about a week ago. These came at the beginning of last week but they came at the same time as the Yuka palette from Natasha Denona and that took priority. <laughs> And then I just didn't have time to film the rest of the week. Um, it is very rainy for tomorrow being the solstice and this weekend being Pride. It is 53 degrees outside. It is not good weather, but um, I am very excited to film and play with these a little bit more. I've tried a couple shades here and there. I've done a couple quick looks just to play around. Um, so I'm gonna do some swatches and then two looks, one per eye, I think, because I don't have a lot of time today. Um, and they are doing construction outside again. That is part of why I couldn't film last week because they were literally destroying the road in front of my building uh, all day. <laughs> um, so even when I got home, they were still being loud. Uh, but they are, they were quiet, which is why I decided to try and start filming. And then they just started making noise, but they're half a block up and not doing too much. So hopefully there's not too much background noise and I apologize. Um, so these are the two newest Odin's Eye palettes. Um, these are themed around the Norse Earth Goddess, and I think they are beautiful. I, as soon as I saw them, I was like, I think I need those. And then I saw Lauren May Beauty swatch the shades, um, and I was like, yeah, I need those. Um, <laughs> I uh, am very excited. So today it, I'm gonna try out the Stone and Rock palette, which is the green palette. And a lot of people have been comparing this to the Nomad palette and the Natasha Denona palette. And I am, once I get a little bit more of a handle on this one, and I've used Natasha Denona quite a bit since I got it, I'm going to do a video comparing all of these in depth. Um, but that is not for today. So I know a lot of people said that they liked the color story, but they didn't like the packaging. These each retail for $35, I believe, 35 before a discount code. Um, and I think it's a pretty reasonable price for the quality you get with Odin's Eye. They have, in my experience, very good shadows, a lot of texture, a lot of interesting textures. Um, but I know a lot of people said they wouldn't buy it because they hated the packaging. I don't love it or hate it. Um, I do think there's a few little tiny details that I think are really well done. So it's the same like Earth Goddess on both of these, but I do notice that these look a little more crystal-like on this one, um, and the rocks on this look like rocks with moss on them, so they did make little differences. And I think it's cute. I think it, I don't really care that much. I think cheap packaging can deter from something like cheap plastic or something, but this doesn't bother me. Um, and I like the little rainbow detail, it's pretty. Uh, so this is, the, take that little sleeve off. So this is the interior of the Stone and Rock palette. I'm sure everyone's seen this many, many times. It is a very green palette, green neutral. Um, it's a lot more blue leaning and I did, I am very glad that I already swatched and put a couple of these in my eyes. Like this multi-chrome on other people I saw looked like that normal green, gold, teal kind of flip, but on me it just looked blue. <laughs> Um, on my eye, like blue with a bit of a flip. So I'm excited to try some more of these, swatch them out so you can see what they look like on my undertone. So I'm gonna start with swatches and then we'll get into 
a couple eye looks. Um, so, and I'll have timestamps like always. So, I have nothing on my arm. I don't even have lotion or anything. Um, and then I am going to just swatch in, a, in rows. So, uh, the first shade is a, a matte white and does seem like a pretty nice matte white. I do like Odin's Eye mattes. Um, the next shade is called Frenzy and looks in the pan kind of like a sea foam. Yeah, it looks like an iridescent kind of sea foamy color. Um, and then Madness is this really pretty yellow based olive color. So yeah, that is a really nicely pigmented matte white. And that's a really pretty sparkly shade. And then we've got that yellowy olive. The next shade is Passion, which you can see there's a lot of texture to these, a lot of these, not this one, this one's more sparkly. These have texture, but as you touch them, they kind of smooth out. It's a really pretty green gold. And then Sheer is a dark shade. It looks like a dark green. Cheerfulness, another textured shadow. And that is like a sage. So that's a sparkly, yeah, green gold. I would say these are the two closest to anything in the Yucca palette. We've got like a dark green. Some breaking noises outside, hopefully it's not too loud. And then we've got that sage color. So I'm trying to wipe off my hands, but those sparkles really go all over. Um, exuberance looks like another olive. Destroying the embossings, which is sad. Really pretty. Uh, gleefulness. This is a really sparkly gold, like a pale gold. Picked up a lot. And I'm swatching with the same amount of pressure, so... And then the next jubilance is just a nice warm brown. Yeah, that picked up a lot. It's kind of thick, so be careful. Be going gentle with that one. You could easily get that all over. Um, and I think I need to wash my hand before I continue swatching because I'm just getting sparkle everywhere. Okay, so the next shade is light heartedness. This one I'm really excited for. It's kind of a taupe, taupey brown. Doesn't pick up quite as much as Gleefulness. Gleefulness is softly packed, so it's picking up a lot. Um, we've got Dreamland, which is uh, kind of like the shade in um, Zendo, like the bottom right corner. I don't remember the name of it right now, but it's like a really dark, gray green like an army green but really dark um high spirits is the multi-chrome and as i'm looking at it i see blue like a darker blue royal blue to a teal and then if i flip it towards me i see a little bit of green and yellow like green gold but i have to hit a very specific angle i'm mostly just seeing like blue So let's see what that looks like on camera. I think on camera, yeah, as I look on camera, it's looking green. But on me, like I just see blue purple. And then elevated looks like a nice cool dark brown. Splendid is a sparkly matte or sparkly black. And then we've got passion, which I think is a matte black, yeah. Got a lot of dark options in this one, which I appreciate. So there is the palette all swatched. I think it's really pretty. I do not think it is a dupe for
or Zendo or the Nomad palette. I think they're all kind of same vibe, different colors. Um, but I will talk more about that later and in my comparison video. So I'm going to go wash off this sparkle and then we'll do two looks. I'll do one with the multicrome so we can kind of see what it looks like. And then another one, I'm not sure what. Okay, so let's get going. I think I know what I'm going to do. Um, so like I said, last week was busy and stressful with the construction outside. And there was also, I just, so I talked about that I got a temporary job. Um, supposed to be through the end of the year uh, while I try to figure out funding for my PhD because I don't have the money to continue. Um, and the temp job has been a lot. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna start, I wanna use the multicrome, so I'm gonna try cheer. I wanna see what that looks like. And then, I'm gonna put that, see how it blends out, and then maybe pick another shade to blend out the edges. I'm just going in with a Sigma blending brush. And I already have some of my NARS eye primer down. So that picked up nicely. I'm just gonna tap it right here. Um, so I haven't talked about what the job actually is. So it's, I'm at, currently working as a leasing agent for a company um, here in Seattle, and it's at four buildings, um, which is a lot. They're all right by each other, thankfully, but it's still 200 and something apartments around four buildings. It's a lot of work. Um, but they just told us this week that um, they lied when they said that this job would be through the end of the year, uh, and... <laughs> they are no longer going to be managing some of these buildings and we are all out of the job or trying to find us different jobs within the company but because i'm the newest person they don't know if they have anything for me because it's based on seniority so i might be laid off in a couple weeks and i'm currently just in limbo waiting to find out so that was stressful and a lot to deal with on top of just like the day-to-day -day stuff of like people coming in and having issues and then like the elevator breaking down in one of them and someone doing like just doing crazy stuff um so it's just been a lot i understand why my boss has been so stressed for what i mean my boss didn't know any of this either this was a higher up thing but it's been a lot this is blending out really nicely. So you can see on right here, it's kind of catching a little bit, but that's fine. That's gonna get covered with the shimmer. But what I'm worried about is the shape and the edge and it's diffusing pretty nicely. I will probably, I'm not sure what I wanna diffuse it with. Um, I could use any of the lighter shades, but they're all very different. This is more blue base green on me and these are all, none of these are blue base greens. So, um, I might, I'll probably pick Madness, the more yellowy one, but they are different uh, undertones. I could probably use like a setting powder or something to blend the edges as well. I uh, went into my makeup bag I took to work with me to grab the slipstick, my Lisa Eldridge, um, and I have my old spare Kosas setting powder <laughs> that's very almost gone, and it opened, and you can see that things scraped it, and now there's powder all over the bag and all over everything in the bag, so I have some cleaning to do after filming. Not happy about that. But yeah, honestly, let's see. I'm going to grab a little bit of that. And I'm gonna put that up here because I can't use the white. That's obviously way too pale. I could use the white as a highlight, but not blending it out. I'm not, I don't know anybody that, that that's that white. Okay, that's actually blended out really nicely for a dark shade. I think Odin's Eye has a really good matte formula. They really, I think it's always been pretty good, but the last year or so it's been really, really good, so. Just 
putting a little bit more into the actual crease. Okay, gone kind of dramatic and blended out, but it's diffused really nicely, and that's just one shade. Um, so I'm now going to take a shimmer brush and try to put the multicrim down with the brush and see how it works with the brush versus a finger. So I'm picking up with a Ruffer 21, which is my go-to brush for shimmers. And I'm gonna put that down. Obviously glitter glue or something would make it pop even more. But especially since I'm doing two looks and then I'm going to get a haircut, I'm, I'm not wearing two distinct looks all day. So, okay, so I'm definitely seeing more of the bright green reflecting in the mirror because of the light. When I did this in the bathroom the other day to wear it, it definitely looked just blue with the more diffused light. So, but I'm definitely seeing more of the green and it is a really pretty, really smooth multicrome formula. It picked up very well on the brush. It's definitely a shade I probably have in like Davina and Terra Moons, but it's nice to have that in a palette. And then I'm going to pick up, just grabbing a like smudgy brush. I'm going to pick up the matte white. I'm going to try that as a matte inner corner. Yeah, that's a very pigmented white. Hmm, okay. I think with the multichrome, maybe not. I do like a matte inner corner. I don't know about this. Let's pick up a little bit of that frenzy shade. I'm just gonna put a little bit here, just for some sparkle. Oh, I like that. There's definitely a lot of dimension in that shadow. This is definitely more smooth and shifty, and the other shades are a little more sparkly texture. Texture versus dimension. Okay, I really like that. And I could obviously put different shadows on my lower lash line. Let me grab... I think I'm just gonna grab a little bit more of Cheer and connect it down here. And leave my lower lash line mostly empty. Okay. Uh, so now, even though I might still have a job, they might be able to offer me something, I don't know, but I still have to look for something new just in case, so that's fun. Job market right now is not a great place to be. Okay, I really like that. Yeah, I really like this. Definitely the Odin's Eye quality I know and I really appreciate. So now let's try, I really wanna put lightheartedness, that like bronzy brown on my lid. So I think I'm gonna do green and brown. I'm going to do exuberance, dreamland, and lightheartedness. So I'm just grabbing a fluffy brush. This is a Ruffer 15. Nice big fluffy brush. I'm going to pick up exuberance. And I'm going to put that on this eye. I'll finish my mascara and stuff on this one at the very end. And I'm just going to brush that in the crease. Picking up a little bit at a time for more control, but it's blending really nicely. <clears throat> I hope you all are doing well, enjoying the almost summer. I mean, it's kind of, it felt like summer for like a week and then it went back to spring slash fall weather here, but that's kind of Seattle for you. Um, I'm excited for warmth and sunlight. I had a couple days. We, um, went to central Washington to see, <clears throat> to see Joni Mitchell, who I 
think that happened after I posted my last video. That's part, another reason why I couldn't, I didn't film it all last weekend because of that, yeah. So last weekend was amazing. Um, saw Joni Mitchell. So for anybody who doesn't know, she is a famous singer, songwriter. Um, she has been performing since the 60s. Uh, and she's someone I grew up listening to. She's someone my husband grew up listening to. She's probably my husband's favorite musician. She's one of mine, but not like my top. Um, but someone I grew up listening to and I listen to regularly. She's always playing in her house. Um, and she hasn't performed, she hasn't released music in a long time, but she hasn't performed in like 20 years. And she had a brain aneurysm a few years ago, like five years ago. And she, uh, in the last few years, has been performing in her house with Brandy Carlisle and other musicians and stuff. And they got her to perform at the Newport Folk Festival, like last summer, um, and announced at that that she would be doing a one night thing in the gorge this last weekend. And so we immediately bought tickets. Like we were waiting in queue to buy tickets, both of us at the same time to make sure we got them. We got tickets, we went with my best friend. It was, it was magical. So the gorge is <laughs> the amphitheater in the central Washington, right on the Columbia river. So there's this huge river um, and you're overlooking the river and stuff. I posted pictures to my community tab um, and my Instagram, but you're just overlooking the river, big stage on the grass and on the hill watching as the sun set over them while they played. It was just a magical, it just, it was a magical experience. It got really cold. I definitely didn't, did not plan for that properly, but it was, it was really beautiful. Um, but it is, we couldn't get anywhere to stay nearby. So we had to, I really like the way these greens are looking. I um, mean, I could just do a green gold and have kind of a monochromatic look with passion or do the kind of um, minty sage color there, but I wanna do neutral shimmers just to have a little contrast. So I'm gonna put a little bit of lightheartedness, but it was just amazing. Um, when she first started singing, her voice was a little rough and I was like, oh, you can tell, you know, she's not in the best health, but like the longer she sang, the better she got and the more she became like herself and you could just see how happy she was to be there. Um, and her voice is definitely deeper than it was when she was younger, but it's been like, it's been deeper for a long time, but um, it was amazing. And she ended up playing until midnight. <laughs> so we got home because we had nowhere to stay nearby because they we couldn't find anything, even booking way ahead. So we ended up having to drive back to Seattle that night and got home at like four in the morning. And so that kind of just took up the entire weekend. This shade is really beautiful. It's not picking up the best of the brush, but it is picking up. I would definitely get more opacity with my finger, kind of like I did in the swatch, but that's okay. And I'm gonna pick up the pale gold shade. And I picked up a lot with my fingers, so I'm hoping it works well with the brush. And I'm gonna put that here on the inner half of the lid. It was just such a wonderful experience. Um, and I, like, I'm so happy we got to go. My only regret was wishing, you know, being sad that my mom wasn't there. But, you know, she died almost 20 years ago, so. But my mom was always a huge Joni Mitchell fan, so it would have been special to have her there. And they definitely played some of her favorite songs, so that, that meant a lot to me. And then Annie Lennox and Sarah McLaughlin were guest singers and came on stage and sang with her and sang to her, like sang her songs to her. And that was, that was really special. My first concert was actually Sarah McLaughlin, <laughs> um, all the way back in like 2004 or something, 2003, something like that. Oh God, that was 20 years ago. 
Yeah. So 2004, I think. I feel old. Um, <laughs> okay. Really loving both of these looks. Uh, I'm going to add some mascara, touch up my lips, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back with the finished two looks. Really, really do love these. Um, I'm also glad I'm almost done because they're starting to get louder outside and I heard a leaf blower, even though it's raining. But really love both of these. I would say this, I could get something very similar with the Yucca palette. Not exactly the same. And she do the Yucca palette does have some texture to those shimmers. I think they're actually even more textured and more intense than this. Um, but I've worn a similar look like this to work recently, so I know I can get a similar look to this. Could not do this with the Yucca palette. Um, this is really beautiful. This is definitely more blue-green. Um, this is definitely a green palette, which I really do love. <laughs> I do have a little bit of fallout right here. Some sparkle. Let's see. That is not brushing away. Okay. So, I know for now, when I use these textured shimmers, unless I'm using my finger and press it, I mean, I think when, even when I used my finger, I had some fallout. So, when you're using the textured shades from this, I would definitely do your eyes first, um, but they're really beautiful, really sparkly, really love how smooth this is. I am very happy I got this. I'm excited to keep playing with this. I'm glad it's the summer of green palettes. Um, yeah, I'm just really excited to keep playing with these. I am very excited to film with this later, um, maybe later today. I don't know. I have some errands to run, including getting my hair cut, so we'll see. Um, but really happy with these. So, so let me know what you think of the two looks. Uh, did you pick up this palette yet? It is a permanent palette, so it's going to be around for when they do their Black Friday sale and all of that stuff, um, which is why I'm not stressed that I was, I'm like the last person to film with this. Um, but let me know your thoughts. I do think it's a really beautiful palette. This is obviously like kind of a second impression because I've used a few of the shades before, not a full first impression, but we'll see what I think as I keep using it and fully form my opinions. But as always, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Love to hear what you think of the palette, what you think of the looks. I love talking to you guys. Um, and remember to like and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.